okay, I was just saying backstage, I cannot follow that up. Yes, you that can. That was so good. Yes, she you can. So good. I was back there typing in my phone, writing <laughs> everything she was saying. It was so good. Listen, what you just said is actually part of the formula for success, right? Like when you have people who are inspiring you, and you're like, okay, let me take notes because I know I'm going to forget yeah. later. <laughs> yes, yes. And a lot of times it's just confirmation of what you already know. Exactly. You just need to hear it from somebody else. You need to hear it again, <laughs> right, and yeah. so that you can take whatever you already know to another level, Yeah. right? Because the growth never actually stops. It's like, that's why I'm so excited about yeah. the speakers being here and them being fed, because it's like, I want y'all to see, we all need to hear these messages yes. over and over again, yes. right? And there's always new levels that we're growing to that we need to hear from. And I love that you said, you know, we're all co-creators here. Yes. Because yesterday when I was on stage, I was like, this is the most amazing energy I've ever felt in a room. Yeah. And that allowed me to bring my energy. That allowed me yes. to feel like I could be myself. And you, you've done this. Like, this is so amazing. It, what you've created here is incredible. Thank you so much. It's so incredible. Thank you so much. Listen. I get so excited to invite speakers to events because I'm like, wait till you meet my community. Like, I know you're full Seriously, of doubt because, listen, yeah. I've been to all the whack events, too. <laughs> and we're like, I'm getting paid to be here. Let me go do my thing. Sometimes the audience is giving you absolutely nothing. nothing. Like, oh, you got nothing for me today? Okay. Yeah. And you're trying hard. You're trying hard. You're giving it everything you, you have. You got to dig like, These deep. people don't want to be here. Yes, like, exactly. They have to be here, you know? <laughs> but you guys are invested. You're, inv you're emotionally invested. Like, th that's what I felt yesterday. Yes. And that made me invested so yes fantastic. and it's just yeah. hearts open right yeah. like that's how we show up this community and I think part of it is having permission yeah having permission to show up as your full self and yes. being celebrated as your full self yes you know is so key and I think that's that's part of what you teach yeah. too right is like how can you celebrate all the parts of you you know what I mean? And and your 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 roughest story, all of it, yeah. right? How do you bring all of that to what you do? Yeah. I, it's so it's so key and that's how you all show up and that's why every speaker that I bring here I'm like, "Listen, I know you're doubting now. Just wait till you meet the Schmillies. <laughs> you are going to be so Listen, Arlen, who's back here, came to my event last year, right? And Arlen, you know, she's going to give you she going to give you a fist bump. She don't shake hands. <laughs> First of all, Arlen got excellent boundaries. So can we just celebrate that for I a know. second? I love that. Because I'm like, too. yes, I give me permission too. to have more boundaries, right? Yeah. But also, Arlen came and she spoke and she was like, I love these people. I'm going to take pictures. I'm like, great, let's do pictures, right? Yeah. And it's like everybody, every speaker comes in and is like, I'm available for this time. You know, we have strong boundaries when we come in. Then they get here, they're like, ah! Oh, this is a good time. Oh, I love these people. Oh, this, yes. this, this is my people, right? And so then they stay and they have a great, and that's a testament to you, right? Yes. And the energy that everybody brings, it's so beautiful. It's like that's, you're enabling what's happening on this stage because of the energy that you are bringing, right? And you're like, every person that gets on the stage is like, oh, everybody is rooting for me. Yes. And that feels so beautiful. Yeah, that's so amazing. And I want to thank you for bringing me. Yeah. Because I, I just feel like, I mean, this really was such a supportive, incredible experience for me. This, yes. this entire week. And um, I speak at it for a lot of corporations and a lot of people have to be there. Yes. And so I'm constantly on stage, like, is anything I'm saying getting across? And everybody was just so supportive yesterday. And yes. I, it's, it's really fantastic. It, it, it's, it's inspired me so much because it's made me realize even more how important community is. Yes. And, and you've built it. Like, you're the curator of all of this. Thank which you. Is, which is just incredible. Thank you. So. I feel very blessed. And I mean, yeah. all it was is just having a vision where I have a lot of folks in my community who have a disability, who have a chronic illness, and I think they need to be represented on the stage. Yeah. That's so important. That's yes. so important. And um, and I love what you guys said, what you and Pinky were saying about also not just talking to that audience either. Like I've never spoke to just the disabled community. Right. I feel like I speak for everybody. Exactly. Like we're all trying to figure out our possibilities. Yes. You know? And we don't even know what those are. But we're capable of so much more than we'll ever even know. Yes. And so for me, I'm just trying to figure out what am I what am, what's possible for me and yes. how can I help other people figure out what's possible for them? Exactly. But it's so important to see not just people like you on stage, but people who are different, people who have different struggles, yes. um, but still got there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. Because representation matters, right? If yeah. we don't see people on the stage who are having success, who are writing the books and getting on TV and speaking on yeah. stages, and if that's our dream and that's what we want to have, and we don't see somebody who looks 
like you yes. or who has your experience on that stage, then you think, well, that's for everybody else, but it's not for me. Right. You know, Absolutely. and that's how I felt at so many conferences. Have you ever felt that way at an event? Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely, yeah, if you're not represented on stage or if you don't see people like you, then you just don't even know what the possibilities are. It's exactly. like It's like sports. You see somebody do something, all of a sudden everybody else can do it, right? Yes. Like, like they, can, they, they can achieve what somebody else has achieved just because they know it's possible. So I think it's important across the board. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so tell us what, what does bouncing forward mean to you? So bouncing forward for me, I, you know, I really started thinking about that idea during COVID. Um, so this injury, so I'd imagine that you guys were in the audience yesterday, right? Yes. So this injury that I got four years ago um, was major. It was bigger for me emotionally and yes. physically than losing my legs in the first place. Wow. And um, because I think, you know, when I lost my legs at 19, I was young, I had all this energy, I just kind of figured things out and I kept going and I yes. thought, Honestly, I kind of thought, well, that was easy. Like yeah. you just get your legs and you just go. You know, like people. It's, it speaks to how adaptable we are yeah. when we're young, and then we get older. And we're like, nothing's possible. Everything's hard, yes. right? It's like, yeah. where, where did that? Like my daughter is like, whatever we want to do, of course we can do it. Right. right? So like, obviously, yeah, mom, like, what are you not? talking about? Yeah. Yes. It's but then we get older. We're like, all those possibilities seem to go away yeah. somehow. It's almost like we know too much. We know yes. how hard things exactly. can be. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So when you're young, you're like, why not? Why can't I do that? That's amazing. Yes. Um, um, but this injury really knocked me down because it wasn't easy. There wasn't a fix. Uh, it's not like, oh, just have surgery and then we fix things. That, that was not my journey over the last four years. There's been a lot of uncertainty. And so um, I think I just, yeah, I, I and, and it was during COVID everybody was being knocked back exactly so this happened actually a year before covid so i was kind of sitting back not able to do the things that i love to do watching the rest of the world go on yes then all of a sudden the rest of the world came to a screeching halt and i felt like people are actually kind of on my level right yes. now which is like sitting at home wondering what's going to happen wondering what our future looks like not even have a vision for the future because yes. we didn't even know what it was going to look I like I mean so. like I think when the whole, all the banks closed I was like oh it's really yeah. over like because yeah. I'm from New York where like money never stops right yeah. like it's like always always moving yeah. like you could have a blizzard and everybody still got to go to work right <laughs> like, they're yeah. like no trains listen get on the bus right <laughs> so when the banks closed I was like oh this is real yeah yeah, and I think for me, I started to notice, so, you know, everything closed in March. I started to really notice in the fall, like, okay, this is, things have not opened up yet. Yeah, <laughs> Things have not started to go yes. back to what it was before. We don't have the momentum that we had before. And so, um, and I started being asked to speak on resilience quite a bit yes. at these online conferences because everything moved online. And when I would when I would think about what I want to talk about, you know, I, I'd kind of Google resilience. Like, I want to make sure I I like know what I'm talking about. This is and the I'm same like thing I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, oh, this topic. Let me Google it first. Yeah, let me let me make sure I know <laughs> what it really is before I start talking about it. Yeah. And everything was saying, you know, resilience is going back to the way that you were, and and it's about bouncing back to the shape that you were in before. Mm. And I'm like, but you know what? I, 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 we're never going back to what we were. Never. We're not. Yes. And and. And that can be a really good thing yes. because we're learning so much and there's so much innovation and so much change during that time of COVID that it, it's just changed us as a society. It's 100%. changed our economy. It's changed everything. So it's not about bouncing back to who we once were, what we once did. It really is about learning from our experiences so that yes. we can grow and we can bounce forward and become stronger than we were before exactly and so that that just became my kind of mantra of like no it's about bouncing forward it's about using every challenge along the way to become all that we could be yeah and that's what i think our earth experience is yes it's, it's, we're here to learn we're here to grow we're we're heavily challenged some people more than others but but we go through challenges so that we can learn and grow and I know that that's I know that that's been my journey the only way I've gotten to where I'm at today is because I lost my legs yeah is because I was challenged so greatly that I had to figure it out yes. and I'm grateful for what I went through I'm grateful that I lost my legs I honestly I'm not saying it was the most like I'm not trying to be toxic positive in yes. the way that it's like it's amazing you know it's like there's there's a lot of not amazing 
challenges that I've had to face, and, and, and especially in the last four years. Like remaking these legs to try to do what I did before is so challenging. Mm. I've probably gone through, I've probably gone through maybe 20 pairs of legs in the last year. Wow. Trying to get these legs right. Wow. And it's made me realize just how hard it can be. Like, yes. is it like, uh, yeah, 20 years ago, somehow I forgot how hard it was. Yes. But, but now it's like, this is hard. This is hard. You know, I can walk these little short distances right now. But I'm like, gosh, I'm not snowboarding. I'm not dancing. I'm not even walking, you know, that far right now. And, and so life is challenging. But I feel like that's why we're here. We really are here to learn and grow and see where that can take us. Yes. And, and if you're open to it, you're open to the experience, you're open to, you know, you're not fighting what you're going through. You're trying to just almost lean into it. Yes. Like, this is where I'm at, and I can't fight it, and I can't change it, so what can I do with it? Yes. And yes. That's, that's bouncing that forward. That is bouncing to forward to a T. Wow. That is so good. Yeah. Listen, yes. You need to give us a mic. Am I not loud? <laughs> okay, keep this one. There you go. The, the challenge here is I talk with my hands a lot, and my husband's <laughs> sitting back here, and he always laughs at me because I talk with my hands so much <laughs> that I'm always like, oh, gosh, if they put a microphone in my hand, I'm, I'm kind of in yeah, trouble. Yeah, like you're like, how, how am I, I going to do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, I'm like, so aware of myself. Yeah. Yes, and I think this concept of bouncing forward and – like learning to flow with the challenges that you have yeah. experienced, it helps us become the people that we're meant to be. Yeah. You know, it's like, we don't want to go through the hard. We just want it to be easy. Like, yeah. how can it just be fast and easy? I don't, I don't like this hard part. Let's <laughs> speed right. past this. But then you would never feel accomplished. Yes. You would never feel like you made it through something or like you won or like you did it. You yes. Know, if it wasn't hard. And that's why I said yesterday that, you know, sometimes the biggest, most accomplishment, like most amazing accomplishments of our lives are the hardest things we've ever gone through yeah it's like the two go hand in hand because by the time you get there you're like I did it I did it I yes. figured this out and that was so hard but so worth it yes and that can be in our business that could be trying to get through a disability or yes. an injury or a challenge but you get there and you go I did it and that feels good and then you have to be able to reward yourself so you'll do it again exactly <laughs> yes yeah. don't forget to reward yourself that's yeah. so good yeah. and it shows you like what you're made of right like yeah. I think you don't even get to reach your full potential without challenges because it's like oh, you need to sure. face that challenge so that you know you can face that challenge exactly right like okay this is hard this sucks yeah. but I'm gonna figure out how to get through this Right. And then you get through it and then you're like, oh, my God, I have so much more confidence than I did before. And I'm like, then you're right. like, I'm grateful for that challenge. because exactly. Look at who I am now. Exactly. Exactly. And you don't know. You just don't know what you're made of until you mm -hmm. are faced it, faced with dealing with your challenges, you know, until you're you're forced to figure out what you're made of. Yes. Then you're like, oh, I can do that. And everything's scarier before you're in it. Yes. You know, when you're in it, you're like, I actually got this. I mean, even seriously like losing my legs which was the worst case scenario the worst case scenario was that I was going to lose my legs that was terrifying yeah I had no idea what my life would look like I had never seen a, an amputee before I'd never even seen a prosthetic leg before I had no idea what I'd be able to do but then all of a sudden I was in it and you figure it out yes. you do figure it out you take one little baby step at a time and you're like well, it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna yes. be is it hard yes but can I handle it? Yes, I'm handling it. So, exactly. So then you just take one little step at a time, and eventually, you know, and you don't stop moving. You keep moving forward, yes. and eventually you get to places that you never knew you could ever get to. Exactly. When you're handling it, how do you keep your mindset positive? Like, how do you stay in a place of, like, staying out of defeat? Because I definitely, yeah. I had a challenge last year, and I, I kept saying the word failure and I noticed myself saying yeah I'm a failure or I failed over and over like every day I was saying it to myself and I'm like you gotta stop saying that yes you gotta stop saying it because you're making it true right and it's like it's not a failure it's a challenge yeah or it's a mistake or it's something that went awry whatever it is and you're learning from it 
and it sucks and it feels painful in the moment but it's not if you if you label it as a failure and just keep saying that to yourself yeah. it's like eventually you're gonna be laid out in the bed and you're gonna be like forget it forget everything exactly so how do you how do you on a day-to-day -day basis like keep your mindset positive when things feel really challenging I mean I think you just described it per perfectly is it's self-awareness yes it's being aware of how you're thinking a lot of times we're not aware of how we're thinking. We're just automatically doing it. And yes. so then you're kind of running on this program. But when you're aware that like, I'm telling myself some negative things right now, I'm telling myself a negative self story, yes. then you're becoming aware of your own thoughts and you're able to change those thoughts as well. And I think, you know, it, words, and I think you and Pinky mentioned this too, words are so powerful, the words that you use. Mm -hmm. So you know, are you saying I'm struggling? Because struggling is a burden. Yes. But a challenge is an opportunity. Yes. So if, if Listen, you're sitting back and saying, down. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. It's like, this is a pain. I can't do this. I can't do this. Or are you saying this is a challenge, which means it's an opportunity to figure it out. Right. So let's just approach it a little bit different. And I think it is just sometimes just a simple mindset shift. It's just a perspective shift. Yes. You can change your life so fast just by thinking differently in one second. You just see the world in a different way and then you step into the world in a different way. But this doesn't mean that any of it's easy. Yes. You know, and it's not easy. It's not easy having a positive mindset when you're going through real life heavy duty challenges. Yes. Um, and, and for me, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of anxiety, more anxiety than I've ever had over the last couple of years that I'm now dealing with that as a yes, challenge. Yes, exactly. And, I, and I'm also trying to remind myself that that's, you know, with these things, these thoughts that I have at times that tell me I'm not enough, uh, that's, that's not me. That's not even real. That's yes. my ego. That's my fear. That's, so just that self-awareness of that, those thoughts are not me, yes. right? Who am I? And, and who we are is just full of potential. We really, really are. And I yes. think our purpose here is to figure it out. And the way you figure it out is also by helping each other, which you guys are doing here. So, yes, yeah, exactly. And when somebody in the community is going through a, a lot of challenge, right, we support each other. Like there was yeah. someone who really wanted to be here at this event and didn't have the money. And she's like, I'm just going to put it out there. I really want to come. I, I have a ticket, but I can't afford the flight and the hotel. And I want to exchange my services for, you know, I like, yes, that. it was cooking, yeah. right? And it's like, I, I want to exchange my services if you're, you know, willing to hire me and so that I can come to this. Like, yeah. um, and so she made an offer and she just put it out there and said, like, the, the, I can't imagine missing this. I just know I'm meant to be there. And she put herself out there. And the community was like, don't even give us the services. Yeah. Like, we got it. I got the first 400. Somebody else had the next 500, and it was done. That's and awesome. everybody in the community went wild, you know, because it was just like, yeah. that's what community is for, yes. right? To love on each other, to support each other. And I think that's part of what gets us through these challenges, too, right. is when you know you have people there who are reminding you who you are. Yes. Right? Yes. When you're stuck in that anxiety or stuck in that challenge or the story that you're telling yourself, and you're surrounded by people who are like, no. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> And, that's and won't let you stay there, you know? Exactly. And sometimes you're mad at them, like, shut up. I just want to be mad and sad right now. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. Just let me be sad. Yeah. <laughs> but when you have people who just love you and who are there to support you, it yeah. really shifts things. It really, really does. It does. I, and I want to throw that to my husband because he's yes. so amazing because he's this whole time with this injury that I had, he's like, you are Amy Purdy. That's You're right. Amy Purdy. Come on. Like, yes. you've done it. You've won the medals. You've done the things. Like, that never changes. You yes. Know? But you need some. But you need, like, a, a, a hype man. <laughs> or you need a hype woman but when you can't be it for yourself you know because yes. at times we can't be it for ourselves like we are broken down we don't see any other way out yeah but you've got somebody reminding you of just who you are yes. like that's all you need to just kind of see things a little bit differently yes somebody yeah. to believe for you when you can't yeah. believe for yourself yeah that's why we need community yeah oh, yeah so and that's what and that's what this whole week has just been, it's been such a learning experience for me yes. to be able to serve my community better. And yes. I mean, that's why I was backstage taking so many notes because I just feel like, I mean, this is what it's all about. hundred yes. percent. This is what it's all about, helping each other. It's like learning what you can learn. I mean, that's why you build a brand. That's why you build a business. It's to help solve a problem, yes. right? And, and to build a community and to help people be able to live their best lives. And 
um, I'm just so inspired by, Yay. I'm inspired by everybody here in this room. Everybody I've met has been incredible. Well, we're inspired by you. You're amazing. You. Truly. Thank you guys. Mm. Truly. Does anybody have a question that they want to ask? Yes. <laughs> she was like, I'm ready. Hi. <laughs> She's like, I know right I got here. one minute. I'm going to be first. Grab, Please grab a branded Hello7 mic. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's branded. I love that, too. All I, the little details. I mean, so good. <laughs> Your team's amazing. I just want to say Amy and Pinky Cole was everything I never knew I needed. Yes. Um, just stepping into yourself, that ownership, that all. Yeah. Oh. And, and I've never gut checked myself and just seeing you with the courage really was extraordinary to me. Seeing Pinky and just being herself yeah. and being as beautiful and authentic. So I just want to thank you two for being everything I never knew I needed to be. Oh. Thank you. And my question is <laughs> She's like, okay, I still got a question. <laughs> Listen, take up the space you need, okay? I love it. My question is for the both of you. You mentioned yesterday you were like, um, you know um, what to do when you have that gut, gut, that gut feeling. So I thought I had decided on my flagship offer, and then Miss Rachel um, offered us to be a coach. And so now I'm like, <laughs> how do I know that I'm supposed to move from this space? How do you make that decision to make sure you're not just jumping on the bandwagon? Of yes, everything? yes, that is a great question. Yeah. I think it's really important to listen to yourself and what you want to do, not what you should do. Yeah. Because we all get in that. And I, I can say I'm in that too. I'm like, I started a podcast, uh, which I loved. And I started it because I wanted to talk to people and have these great conversations. But I also started it because I felt like I should do it. Yeah. Because everybody in my space is doing it. I should have a podcast too. Yes. I didn't really fall in love with it, to be honest, because. I didn't, it, it wasn't, it, it, the way that I was doing it wasn't really fun for me. Yes. But it was something, I, I, I yeah. relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> totally like, you, why am I doing it this way? This is not fun. I don't enjoy right. this. <laughs> so, right. So there's different ways that you can do different things so that you enjoy it. But for, in order for something to be sustainable, you have to like doing it. And you have to know that I can show up at, I would pay to do this. Yeah. I would actually pay to do this instead of being paid to do this. Okay. Yes. Everything that I have been successful in snowboarding, I paid to do that for years before I ever got paid to do that. Yeah, in yes. fact, like Dancing with the Stars, I would have paid to do that yes. before, you know, being paid to, or I would have paid to do that versus being paid to do that because you love it that much. Yes. And that's when you're going to be successful at it. And that's when you'll be sustainable at it. So don't do it because you feel like you should do it because you want to. Yes. And, and, but you know, but test it out. Like, for me, it's like, I, okay, I should be doing this. All right, so I jump in, I try it out, I figure it out. Is this sustainable for me? Would I actually pay to show up and do this every single day? Yes. No. So then I take a step back. Yes, exactly. The other thing that I would say too is sometimes you just have an inkling, right? And then we want to logicize it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, I feel drawn to something. I'm excited about something. I want to move forward with it. Yeah. But it has to make sense. Let me make it make sense. Let me, like, fit it into my perfect, you know, equation. Like, that Tetris yeah. piece don't fit exactly. It's not the L shape that I need, <laughs> right? It's facing the other way, right? And so we try to make it perfect. And sometimes yeah. I think you just have to take the first step. If it's, if your, if your gut, like, yeah. I agree with you, if it's saying yes, this yeah. feels right and it's like I'm gonna collect these this, these tools and these opportunities along the way and they're gonna lead me to where I'm supposed to be and I think you just got to follow that like right. that 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 wanting that desire is leading you somewhere magical and you don't know where that place is yet right you have no clue right sometimes you're just like I'm just here right I, I have definitely signed up for things that I'm like why am I doing this yeah. what the hell does this have to do with what I do <laughs> yeah but something is like but I can't stop thinking about it I'm like oh it's gonna nag me okay fine I'm just gonna do it and see what happens yeah so sometimes it's like that so I think you want to see like which one is it for you right, right. Um, but don't be afraid to follow your desires, even if it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yes. I love that. Yes. Your desires are there to take you where you want to go. Right. Yes. And the beautiful thing about desires, too, is that like 
your desires show you what you want and like you want something like for me i just wanted like a nice house with a with a grassy area for my children <laughs> right like that i just wanted something like really practical and because i wanted that i i created a program so that people could join my mastermind and i'm like how can i use my skills to serve people okay i'm going to serve people in this way i'll get paid to do this then i'll be able to afford the house right and it's like then what the point is is like i'm actually doing work that is changing lives and i'm helping yes. people and my desire for a house with a backyard yard was is the only reason I'm here because I'm like if I could already afford the house I wouldn't have bothered I'm gonna just stay here doing what I'm doing yeah. you know what I right, mean right. but like that desire leads you to a new level of creativity so you can get what you want then when you get what you you get what you want by doing something magical for other people by right. serving and when you're serving other people like that is the point then you get right. there and you're like okay the house is great but it won't about the house right it's about this feeling there is nothing better right like right. just feeling like people are served by what you have to offer and helping people is just there's no better feeling yeah. and I, I think your your passion is connected to your purpose yeah so whatever you're passionate about like that's 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 taking you down a path that you have no idea where it's going to lead yes for me snowboarding I had no idea that I could make a, a professional career out of it I just loved doing it and I'm so happy I didn't give up on myself yes. because it eventually did pay off eventually it led to being able to help so many other people yes. learn to snowboard as well but yeah your passion is connected to your purpose and I think your purpose is so your passion is usually what you love doing for yourself but your purpose is what you can do for others yeah like then then you really know your purpose yeah you know? like for me snowboarding was snowboarding my purpose no but that was my passion but then starting our organization that was part of our purpose being yes. able to help other people with disabilities snowboard as well so follow your passions whether they are your work or just your hobby yeah you know our passions also don't have to be our job yes i agree you know? we don't have to monetize everything y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah you get to have things that don't make money yeah okay you're allowed and, and like just <laughs> and we forget that right? yeah because we want to take everything we love and say okay how can i make money from this <laughs> yes. how can i like turn this into a business but i think our passions are that's our soul speaking to us. Like yes. that's an outlet. That's something that makes us feel good. And that's what fills you up so that you can give back. So I think go the direction that feels good to you. Yes. That you're excited about. And, and th you'll do so much more going that direction than what you should do. Yes. Or I what wish, you think you should do. I wish we chased that like feeling more than yeah. the logic you yeah. know what I mean to say like oh this this feels right this is the path yeah. right like I can feel my way into it and I know how it makes me feel yeah yes our brains stop us from even getting started <laughs> I you mean, know really like if I had thought too much about okay I want to snowboard I've got two prosthetic legs it, it's pretty much impossible there was no pathway yes for me. there weren't even feet to snowboard in so that's you know you can stop yourself from even getting started or you can say no I really want to do this and I'm going to figure it out yes and then just that energy like all of a sudden the path kind of reveals itself exactly and then you inspire so many other people yeah. to do the impossible yeah right so magical thank you so much Amy. I love it this was amazing thank you guys thank you guys I mean I can't take anymore like can we end this already it's been too amazing it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so yes. much. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Awesome.